Hey, snack pack, snacking here, or putting the hot chocolate in your Swiss Miss, if you know what I mean. Bringing you a tactical breakdown on Nepal. Now, this was a looking for game. It was me and Puzzle um, with four other people. Um, and this particular match I'm going to do as three separate videos, one for each round. Um, the few of you that are listening that are, you know, paying attention will realize that we lose one, we win one, and then we, you know, and then the final outcome, which I'm not going to, to give away this time, because, you know, a lot of my tactical breakdowns are, uh, are defeats. Uh, so the reason I'm going to split this up into three separate videos is because each round really was kind of a game unto itself. And I want to I wanna examine each one individually because I think, uh, well, like I said, it's really, really very different. Now, uh, I want to point out I did not catch this when uh, I did not catch this when we played this battle originally. The entire other team is doing, uh, doing placements. One week left in competitive, right? Competitive season ends in a week, and here's the other team doing their placements, as is Crew Mudgeon on our team. And I did I did not catch that. So anyway, let's uh let's roll that beautiful bean footage. I don't really eat cereal that much, so probably not. I don't know. I'll do it at least once. You See the boxes out of the deal. Why not? The the great cereal uh, banter in the beginning. That's just part of what's needed in every game, isn't it? You can play whoever you want. I'll follow Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. So this is the second game with this team, if I remember correctly. And Crewmudgeon cannot join the the uh, channel, the voice channel, for some reason. Um, we even try to switch to team chat later. And it's still, for whatever reason, he's just not able to talk or hear us. So that was a definite uh, disadvantage on our side. Switching like forward. Play, are, you, are you better at off heels? Um, heels and I can go. So we should get the speed. I guess I don't know. Yeah, she can keep a, keep a tank though. Okay, I got lucky there. Stopped it right where I wanted to go. So I'm going to play... Uh, oh, this was the other thing I meant to talk about. All night, we ran into Diva mains for some reason. So I'm going to main tank all night. And Puzzle is not Puzzle. Puzzle is the other Puzzle. Puzzle is the... Uh, and I'm sorry for all the peas. I haven't learned to swallow those yet. I'm still working on that broadcasting technique. But Mr. Puzzle Face there... Is not really puzzle. That's alternate puzzle. That's the other puzzle. That's the other side of puzzle. The uh, less gentle side of puzzle. If getting slapped around by a Reinhardt hammer is your idea of, you know, gentle. This is his alt account. Um, not his main account. So, he is going to do DPS all night. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. So, I'm tanking with a weird person. And I'm doing main tank instead of off tank, so this is really different for me. You know what? Go McCree here. Oh, but I meant to talk about our comp and not about my personal discomfort uh, with this with this match. So I do like the Farah uh, soldier, or he said he's going to go McCree. Either way, I like the splash damage. I always like the splash damage direct damage combination and the reason i like that is i feel like it affords your team a lot of different a lot of different options for damage dealing right i i think the two styles usually complement each other really well lucio's back in the meadow with his increased radius he can he can heal a lot more especially the squishies although he still can't keep a tank up uh, but for tank healing, we've got Warfire. And since I am slow as dog doo-doo over here, uh, I'm going to depend on Warfire to uh, to heal me as much as possible because as an Orisa, 
you're going to get overrun. And that's what happens to Orisa. Because for whatever reason, Blizzard made her with four legs and dog slow speed. So uh, I'm going to depend on old Warfire there a lot. The problem with the comp here is that Crewmudgeon really doesn't have a healer. He's going to have to come back to the team for heals or find health packs. And that's just, that's just the way it's going to be. And since he can't communicate, that's going to be a real problem. And then everyone pies as the Zarya has some uh, synergy with both the Soldier ult and the Pharah ult. So I think that's good. I think the only weakness we have is the Pharah. Probably sh maybe should have gone junk here instead. Anyway, uh, moving on. We're losing up high ground. Taking high ground with Puzzle. We're losing away. Uh, I'm we can. I'm down. Let's go. Alright, they went center, I guess. They got a victory. Okay, that's really strange to me. Um, although I guess... I guess it turned out to be good. The enemy team went straight to point with their own Lucio. Um, we took high ground because we have we have characters that would benefit from high ground, namely me and the McCree. Um, and even the Pharah, because we can help give her some cover fire. So, uh, I think our positioning is good here. They've got a Genji. We gotta push in eventually. Yeah. I went ahead and I went ahead and uh, hardened up there. Uh, used my halt because I I saw that Reinhardt charge and I did it prophylactically. Uh, probably should have held that since the Rhine hit the wall, so there was no reason to harden up, and I'd still have that on. I'd still have the available if I need it. They've got a Roadhog. I don't know what that McCree thought he was doing. Okay, each side gets a res off. Yeah, I know. Can't hit He's one. There, Lucio is ulted. Anything. Okay, he's up. He's up. Never mind. You need to get on point. Too. All right, the Genji has ulted, and I uh, harden up to stop that charge. I've got ult. Um, the Genji obviously just popped his ult. Uh, one of our healers is already down. So let's see if the Genji goes after the Mercy like normal. I'm pressuring the Rhine. Here comes the Genji. And the kill feed is all red. So, yeah, both our healers are down. Now one of the tanks is down. This push is over. I like the switch uh, by Puzzle to McCree. I do not like the switch by Crew Mudgeon to Widow. Um, unless your positioning is really good, you have no point presence, and there's a Genji on the board. I, I'm not sure why he switched to Widow with a Genji on the board, um, because he, that at Genji, and look at the number of stars. Now, the number of stars doesn't necessarily indicate that someone is good, right? But hopefully there's enough game sense there, um, from antics to be able to stop a Widow. Right low. Oh, pardon me. I'm professional, right? We're going high ground again. Our widow's, widow's already down from the hog. There's a res. Alright, based on what I'm seeing, I'm going to assume that their team flanked. Uh... And we were split, as you heard me call. So, some of our team survived, and some of our team didn't. Um, 
uh, and as we came, and that allowed our other half of the team to take point. So it worked out. The whole the whole thing worked out, but it worked out by accident. I'm gonna pop ult here to see if we can push the uh, push the point down. Okay, we overinvested. When I popped ult. I, I knew the Moira was ulting. Um, I knew the Moira was ulting, but the Moira can't burst down a hog. At least not... I've never been able to do it. 100 hours of Moira. That doesn't mean it can't be done. I just... You know... Uh, it, it's just... It's not easy to get that... Uh, 900 points of damage. And Hog was ulting um, to, make, to make matters a little worse. Because he could pin the Moira there. So I popped ult to give us a little extra, a little extra oomph. Uh, I think that's thirty percent, if I'm not mistaken, extra damage. But I didn't realize our mercy had ulted, so we way over invested ults, and that's a communication issue. When the uh, either the mercy should have said, "Hey, I'm ulting," and the Moira held her ult, because. Uh, Mercy Orisa ult together does really well. Or the Mercy should have, or the the Moira should have said, "Hey, I'm ulting." Or the two of them together, because if the if I had known both supports were ulting, I wouldn't have ulted. Um, Mercy is a, just a flying Orisa tube anyway, right? Well, she can heal. The tube can't heal, but uh, she can damage boost to give us the burst that we need. So my ult was useless, or her ult was useless. We we over, we just over invested. Coming back with They brought a diva. Yeah, I took one. Nice shot, puzzle. I can res. Heal, 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 heal. Down. Not HP, not HP. Unfortunately, I got caught without my uh, halt, and uh, that did about 300 points of damage. I was kind of happy with my ability to burst down the Mercy at range. Um, my tracking's getting better. It's that DPS play that I'm doing. But it didn't keep a hammer from kicking my ass. I don't know why. I don't know why everyone pies just ulted there. Uh, did you see that? Our Zarya ulted right there on point, and I'm not sure there was anyone there to help her. Um, remember, that's the thing with Zarya ult. You need someone around to help out. Uh, Puzzle has gone back to Soldier because he's thinking he's doing better. I don't know. With a Genji on the board. I think what I would rather see is Nib. I, I like. I want to keep the Moira because I think Moira is one of the best tank healers in the game. Better switch her to Ana. But what I think we really need here is a Brig. Even if Crew went to Brig and we kind of triple heal, dual tank, single DPS, that might give us enough brawl on point uh, to win this. Down two, down three, down four. Hello. Do we want to go high ground again? Uh, we can. We can start there, but we're gonna have to push in pretty quickly. Okay. We're on yeah. a whole bunch of time. Stinker to bring. Uh, Let's take it on point. Okay, Nib Nib made the smart choice. Nib made the smart choice, but I think he made it late. We needed that. We needed that brig forty percent ago. Um, good move by the Rhine charging me while I was trying to shield from the Diva ult. Because what am I gonna do, right? Point. 
I, I had to turn around to place the shield. I guess I could have placed it right in front of me and walked through it. Maybe that would have been a better plan. But I also knew I had teammates behind me, right? So I was trying to shield the team. And Night Prime held his ult too long. I will not survive in here, but I'm stalling. All right, there it is. First round done. Uh, so what would I have done different? Uh, I could have gone Rhein, I suppose. Um, I'm not a very good Reinhardt. And uh, uh, I play Rhein kind of like <laughs> kind of like Puzzle plays D.Va, right? I've... I haven't needed to learn because uh, Puzzle's always been there, and he's off on DPS land, so, and I'll be joining him next season. Uh, so he just uh, went ahead and got his up and running first. So I could have switched to Ryan. I don't, I don't know that would have been the right choice. Um, I don't, with the exception of Widow Battle. I hate Widow Battles, honestly. I hate perfectly symmetrical violence. I always think that is a uh, I always think that's a mistake to, uh, I always think it's a mistake to do perfectly symmetrical violence. They have a brig, so we need a brig, right? Because then you have to, you have to grind. Counterplay is so much better. Get something that counters the Reinhardt. And I'll be honest, I'd have to look it up. I'd have to go... I'd have to go look up and see what counters Reinhardt. Maybe May. Maybe we should have gotten a May in there. As one of our DPS. Um, I do not think Widow was the right choice. So I think our team comp was bad. I don't think our positioning was horrible. Um, I, I don't think we, uh, we... We made some positional mistakes, I'm sure. Uh, but we, we tried to take the high ground. We tried to kind of stay together oddly enough the one play that really worked was when we split up and you wouldn't think that was the right move but it worked out well so uh yeah i i think a lot of our problem was comp it was comp related and communication related uh we popped too many we over invested in alts um we weren't communicating our alts out although i never expect the support alts to be communicated quite honestly which is a problem because <laughs> You know, when when you're in a Graviton bubble, the last thing I want my Zenyatta to do is say, okay, I'm going to pop trans in three, two... No, pop the damn thing, seriously. <laughs> don't, I don't want to know. Just pop it. Save my ass. Come on. Uh, the same with... Uh, the same with uh, Mercy. You know, if she thinks she needs to pop the ult... You know, I'm going to pop in three. Unless you're planning on pushing on it, that's different, right? If you're going to push on your support ult, uh, which you can do with Mercy, Lucio, and... Uh, oh, what's the other one? Mercy, Lucio, Zen. You can push on those three support ults pretty... Oh, and, and Brigida. On those four support ults, you can push pretty easy. More is a little harder to push with. Um more is kind of an opportunity thing you see your team going down you see they need the extra healing you know try to line them up pop your pop your ult and maybe you'll burn down some squishies at the same time uh her ult's a little different but those four i mean you can plan your offensive on that but if they're going to be used defensively don't talk to me just just pop the damn thing and go which unfortunately leads sometimes to over investing because uh, you don't catch the other support ulting it's usually bad to use your support ults all at once so anyway that's uh that's my tactical breakdown for round one we'll get round two up in a day or so everyone have a good day night wherever you are thanks for watching subscribe hit the bell if you want to be notified when i put my crap up and uh everyone be well be nice to each other we're all, we all share this crazy world snacking out.